The station model is a standardized way of representing weather at a location. Station models can go from being very simple to very complex as we increase parameters of weather that are included on the model. We'll look at some of the most common and important weather parameters that can be represented on a station model. The station model starts with a circle at the location of the weather station. Then additional pieces of weather data and information are represented at different spots around this circle using different symbols and notation. The current surface temperature is written at the top left of the circle and is shown in Fahrenheit. You'll notice that the degree symbol and the notation for Fahrenheit are not included on this abbreviated model. Shown here, this station model would represent 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Current air pressure is represented on the upper right side of the circle representing the station, and it is shown in millibars. This station model shows a current air pressure of 97.2 millibars. However, it's common for station models to further abbreviate the surface air pressure by dropping the decimal point as well as the leading 9 or leading 10 of the air pressure. This is done to save space on the station model. And our example of 970.2 millibars would be written 702. Let's look at another example of abbreviating air pressures. Let's say a station model shows an air pressure of 356. To convert this to standard millibars of air pressure, we would first need to add the decimal. And then we would need to decide if adding a 9 or a 10 makes more sense. This can easily be accomplished by remembering that air pressure typically ranges from 960 millibars to 1050 millibars. So in this situation, it makes more sense to add a 10 to the front of this pressure, which gives us an air pressure of 1035.6 millibars. While it's true that air pressures can at rare times go beyond the air pressures of 960 millibars to 1050 millibars, it's very uncommon. Dew point is the temperature at which the relative humidity would be 100%. Both relative humidity and dew point are a description of how much moisture is in the air, and dew point is written as a temperature. For example, it could be written as 32 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the temperature at which dew would form under current weather conditions. Dew point is shown on a station model to the bottom left of the circle. Current wind at the station is represented by adding a shaft onto the circle. This shaft points into the wind and describes the direction from which the wind is coming, not where it is going. This example of a station model shows wind coming from the northwest. Feathers are added to the end of the shaft to show wind speed in knots, which are nautical miles per hour. Each full feather represents 10 knots and each half feather represents five knots. For example, one full feather and one half feather would equal 15 knots, while three full feathers would represent 30 knots. Cloud cover is also represented on a station model by how filled in the station circle is. For example, a completely open station model circle represents no cloud cover while a half-full station model circle represents five-tenths cloud coverage, and an entirely filled-in circle represents entire cloud cover. Current weather, such as rain, snow, or storms, can be represented on a station model as well. These symbols are placed directly to the left of the station model circle. Rain is represented by a small filled-in circle, and can be shown with different symbols and in different arrangements to show different severities of rain. The same arrangements and symbols are used to show current snow conditions, but the small filled in circle that represents rain is replaced by a symbol that looks like a snowflake. Other symbols are those that can include thunder and lightning storms, fog, or even sand or dust storms. Again, there are many other symbols and parameters of weather that can be added to the station model, and they can go from very simple to very complex. 
It's important when looking at station models to understand the basics of the model. But a key can be very helpful in determining the current weather represented by a complex station model. 